in pajama bottoms daily. I mean, Heather, I don't can I a... can I interrupt you, Karen? It's I don't see it recording. It is now. Okay, oh, I screwed that up and didn't start it, but it is. Now. Okay, sorry, I didn't want you to say anything amazing, and we missed it. Y'all are really okay, hyping this up. Y'all are really hyping this up to be whoa. You guys, I, she even I'm gonna apologize now. <laughs> I think Karen's already been drinking. <laughs> she With even farts that. butterflies. You guys, oh I'm just gosh. telling you. Uh, no, thank you so much. And yes, it was totally surprised um, visit by Heidi and Orville. I didn't know it was coming. And um, I was dressed because I thought I was doing an interview for fill in stuff. And yeah, it's lucky I was dressed because normally I'm in pajama pants. Um, but thank you guys so much. It was such a surprise. I still just don't even believe it. Like it's so surreal. Um, I'm very excited to talk to y'all tonight about flipping. Um, basically, I, how long do I have? 20? five-ish minutes? 25, 30 minutes, whatever you want. Okay. Well, sure. So if y'all want to utilize the chat, if there's some other topic, maybe you have already mastered um, flipping or online parties or sales or whatever, if there's a specific area, we can cover it too, because I'm sure I won't talk full 30 minutes about flipping. It's pretty easy the way I've um, got it figured out for me. And again, you don't have to duplicate it exactly what I'm doing. Um, take bits and pieces, make it your own. There is no right way. There definitely is a wrong way and that's doing nothing. But if you just take bits and pieces of something and implement it, you're going to get results, right? Um, I will tell you what, when COVID hit, um, and I don't, I have my SFR training on this, so I won't talk about it too much in depth. Are all of y'all, did y'all all register for SFR? We have access to the videos. Okay. So I went into depth about what I implemented since coronavirus hit um, because my events were off, my home parties were off. It really changed my business um, drastically because I was thinking, well, heck, I don't want to loan these testers out because I didn't know if it could stay on, you know, objects. We didn't know anything about it, right? So I was like, I don't want hand, I don't want to hand anything out. Um, so that's when I came up with um, these sample packets before the party. So it really was a process. It's not um, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. This is our party. Let me get the link up. Invite your friends. Let's do it. There really is a process to it. And now that I've caught on and kind of got a rhythm about it, a lot of my hosts are like, man, this is really put together. Like this legit is a business. So that, that's one aspect to it. Two, um, I didn't need anything back. I was spending a little bit more money and time, of course, preparing for these packets. Um, but there is no right or wrong. And that's what you'll see in the training. There is documents galore set up that I can send all the links to Karen that you can access. So you don't have to recreate. Um, there are packs that are small, medium, and large. You do it based on your budget, right? Everywhere from $3.50 to $5 to mail. Um, but basically the process of this is, is you find a host. There's even a document on there on where, where do I find hosts, right? What I quickly realized what was happening in my business is when my husband was military, I was partying for a living constantly. There were some weekends on military housing where I would have three, four parties a weekend. As the years went on and um, my customers stayed loyal because I do provide very good customer service. So you do build clientele that stay with you. And eventually, they come back to you and they buy more. I can do $2,000 in sales right now by not doing any follow-up, by barely posting. It's just people coming back. And I don't say that to be braggy. I say that to draw attention for you to be intentional about the customer service and the relationship that you're building with each and every single customer. Don't make it all about sales. Go on there and comment and say something about their kids or their house looks great. Engage with them other than Cincy and build that relationship because it will build you a solid foundation. When I stopped doing parties, I became really, really complacent on this 2000 PRV coming in by me doing nothing. I have to say, I, I sat back and I was lazy. I'm like, this is, this is awesome. What do you mean? I don't even have to do anything. Are you kidding me? But I'm not earning annual mentor. That's the most important award you should be earning every single year is that one. I hit the sales with my eyes closed, which, what does that do for me? Nothing. If you focus on sales, you're writing your own paycheck every single month. You know what it's going to be, right? If you know if you're 25% commission, 
your 25 percent if you sell over 2,000 you know your your paycheck will be 30 percent of that if you don't have a team you you are just guaranteeing what you're going to make but when you start sponsoring and flipping these hosts the income potential could be you don't even know how much it's it's, it's endless at this point like you have no idea what's going to happen and that's really where the money is at and so i lost my focus since covid it brought me back to partying again thank goodness because i really was taking this long road and this long process and doing what keeping myself busy with what i thought was helping me get closer to my goal and that was getting paid at title again because for six years and three months i was not paid at superstar director title because two of my directors decided to go do something else or life happened, right? It was out of my control. So I kept trucking along thinking I was trying to get back at paid at title and what I was doing wasn't getting me there. So when COVID hit, I was like, I gotta do something. I've gotta get these parties again. What am I gonna do? Well, I had three of those deluxe diffusers that I had bought half price for my events. And I said to myself, you know what? I'm going to use those to get more bookings. So I'm going to find one person to host and I'm going to say to my hostess in a private message, not publicly because it's illegal. If you get three bookings off your party, I'm going to give you that deluxe diffuser. A 35 or $32 diffuser is worth me getting three parties and those circle of people that are going to be so engaged in this party on my new party style that that's going to help build my business and have me meeting new customers because very rarely are people there's five reasons and i wrote them down um somewhere in this clean desk of mine oh here it is uh this is what i'm currently working on now is when you ask people well how how come you haven't gotten to the next level it's usually one of these five things they don't recruit they don't get new customers. They don't know the options available to even say them to people. They don't party and they don't know what to say. It's usually one of those five things that's stopping you from promoting to the next level. So I knew partying this way, finding my host, I set up the group, private group on Facebook, and she has to invite all of her guests within 48 hours. My only rule is this. You can't just go clicky, clicky, clicky and adding people to this group. It's not allowed. That will determine your party to fail immediately. My job is to get you maximum host rewards and get everything on your wish list that you want. And how you do that is I want you to reach out personally, either private message or text, and personally invite them and say, hey, I scheduled a Cincy party with my girl. Um, I actually needed some more stuff. And so I thought, I thought I'd help her out by hosting a party during COVID and we're gonna just do it. It's 30 minutes online, would you like to come? Or, hey, do you need any more bars or bulbs? I was gonna place an order, decided to have a party, wanted to know if you wanted to come. It's really just casual verbiage as if I was coming inviting you over to a birthday party at my house. And that's how I wanted her to approach. She was not allowed to add anyone to this group unless the person said yes that's my trick if someone's unsure you don't add them they only add the people that want to be there my second part to the inviting is like i create the graphic that i send to her and i say post this picture on your wall and put on there and if all of you go to my wall you'll see my hostess today tag me in it you'll see my graphic um and look at how many people responded and opted in on their own behalf. It wasn't spammy. It wasn't her reaching out to 724 Facebook friends, adding them to a group where you don't know the person, you don't even know what you're getting into. People want to be there. So what is gonna happen? They're gonna participate in the party. So she's got two days to get them invited. Then they have 48 hours to fill out my Google form, which is a link within 48 hours and there's a clear deadline. So I go through and I print them off. As people fill them out, I'll tag them. Hey, Margaret, got your form, thanks so much. Hey, Nancy, I received your form, thank you. See you at the live. Hey, Alexandra, got your form. And I make a little note. Um, 
of what they want, right? So in my Google form, and there's a video on how to create this and what questions are on there. Why am I having them create this Google form? A, I don't know what state they're in. They could be anywhere, right? I want all their information. But more so, what type of smells do you typically love? I know this lady loves fresh and clean scents. What in the world do you think I'm gonna put in her sample pack? I'm not putting spice in there. I'm gonna put fresh and clean in there. I am speaking her scent language. I am reeling her in immediately just by choosing this. Do you currently use Scentsy in your home? If so, what are you using? What products have you not tried to, but would like to? Future sample maybe, right? Next question, do you have any of the following pets? Now I know maybe to send them a pet sample later, right? Would you be interested in helping your host get an additional half price item? Well, who in their right mind would not wanna help their friend if they're attending the party because they said they wanna be there? Of course I wanna help my friend get a half price item. That question's very important. Then I rephrased it just a different way. Would, would you like to be spoiled with free and half price goodies? It said the same thing, just back to back. I just rephrased it. Do you know anyone that might be interested in earning some extra money? Yes, no, or maybe. Would you like to get paid on your purchases? Uh, maybe, tell me some more info. Now I not only have a future sample packet leads, but I also have leads for host and joining and um, opportunities that I know I can follow up at a later date, right? If my hostess is flipped, then I provide her with all this and she's got some pretty good leads to start her business with, right? So when I open up my parties, the numbers behind me, that's what you'll see there. My parties are open with, I all know that you said you wanted to help Christian earn a half price item on your Google form. Here's your chance. At any time, claim a number, I'll go rip it down, write your name on it for every person that grabs a number. Christian is gonna get an extra half price off item just for you hosting your own 30 minute party with the sample packs that you guys received. They start grabbing numbers at any time during the live, feel free to grab a number. My host knows in her back of her mind, I need to talk this up because if I get three, what do I get? The booking up prize, right? So they have 48 hours to fill out the form. I am a stickler about this. If you miss the deadline, Nine times out of 10, I'm not gonna send it to you because the deadline for a reason. And this separates the people that A, are paying attention, engaged, are serious about making a Scentsy purchase versus the ones that aren't. When they get my sample package, I actually print labels with my hostess's face on them because they're connected to her. They don't know me from Adam. I'm the used car salesman to them. I need to relate to them. How am I related to them? through my host, through her face, staring at her on my sample pack. Yes, it's some extra steps. Yes, it's some printer paper, but I'm trying to connect with these people. And so when they get my sample pack, they will have either a catalog or a showcase brochure or a product list, a washer whip sample, a Scentsy soak sample, a counter clean sample, the new releases, some fragrant samples of their choice in the category that they selected and all of my slivers, so I don't even use testers anymore. I legit, they're right here. I was making them earlier today. I have a box with my bars and I go and I'll open this up and I will cut slivers of each little cube. I will get probably 15 slivers out of one cube and I will put them in these little drug bags. It's literally crumbs. In the summertime, I throw a little piece of felt and let the sunshine melt it for me because I don't have time to be dipping and packaging. So it legit is tiny little crumbs of scent. I keep them in these bags until it's time to ship so they don't blend the smells. So then I will, the night before I ship, I will pull them out, put them in the envelope and throw them in the bags. This isn't even necessary. You can totally throw them in here like this. It does not matter. Again, no right or wrong way, I'm just OCD and extra. I always have been. That's the party planner in me. So in there has got all the different samples. I throw in a coupon, ways to earn your kit. I got um, a question. Do what, honey? I got a question. Yeah. I need your help. So for next month, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, eight parties. And I don't know what to do with it. I got eight parties. And I'm trying to write down everything you're saying. But well, good I've never thing is, is I've got it in a video for you to watch okay. and, and things, okay. files at your fingertips that I'm going to send her where the stuff is already done for you. Okay. So you're going to be ready to rock and roll. Okay. So basically what happens is they get this packet. It kind of makes them feel a little obligated to buy. Like, what is this presentation? Oh my gosh, I feel so special. The party's happening. Sometimes they buy as soon as the sample pack arrives. Then they see the live, they start buying again. Never have had people buy two and three times sometimes from a party before. People are grabbing numbers. When the party is that good in sales, because my host was engaged, she properly invited, the sample packs were the extra touch with her face. I'm tagging people. As soon as they order in Canva, I am posting, thank you, Karen, for your order. I'm going into the marketing tab, pulling the graphics of exactly what they ordered and putting it on this graphic in the party. So now all the, all the party guests can see that Karen just bought a diffuser, a six pack of bars and the alabaster warmer. Yes, it takes a little bit of time, but it makes it personalized. More than one party that I've had, people have gone to the host and go, well, why didn't Heather post my picture? Well, because it was at 1237 AM when you decided to place your order and I was already in bed, right? So the next day I had to get in there and make her graphic then people started buying because they felt like look, they left out or like, well, crap, she's going to call me out if I don't place an order. I'm like a jerk. So it's the small touches like that that make it different. But people are so longing for during this coronavirus and pandemic, right? It doesn't take a lot to make someone feel really special and included in something and different from everybody else. So this is what to wrap up the flipping aspect. When you're taking an individual order from someone, it is very hard to propose the opportunity when someone's buying a six pack of bars. That's where it comes where you're like, how do I even say this without being crazy? Like, do you want to join my team? I know you need, I know you need a six pack of bars. Do you need more bars? You want to get paid on these bars? You want to join? Weird. What are you doing? What are you saying? Stop it. So you have to make sure the present is fully wrapped and a great present before you're offering it to them. It is no, it's no um, wonder that people freak out about not knowing what to say or sponsoring or when to say it because you're not doing it at the right times. You're not setting it up for a perfect opportunity where they can't say no. It becomes a part or a question where it's like, instead of, do you want to do this? It's, why would you not want this? We've got $750 in sales. Your commission is going to be blank. We've got four bookings already, and you're going to keep your hostess benefits. And guess what? We can get your kit for free. It's not going to cost you anything using the host starter exclusive kits, right? It is the perfect package. Why would anyone say no to that? So that's basically what's happening is you're creating the perfect storm where people don't want to say no to this. And that's where the flipping comes in. It's really hard to flip someone when the situation or the scenario is not set up for no to even be an option. And here's the thing. If someone says no, my host says no, I say, Karen, it's totally fine. I totally respect and I will still continue to spoil you as my hostess. I'm going to go ahead and post it though, because I bet somebody in the group is going to want to snag this $59 kit. So I'll just go ahead and post it in our group and see if one of your friends, I'd rather offer it to some of your friends first before I offer it to the public. Again, now I'm doing her a favor? No, but it sure sounds like it. So that's basically my whole Facebook 30 minute live in a nutshell, but it's got a lot of little pieces and I'll be sure to give you all of the, the links and all of that. Um, hey, tell them you had amazing success, was it? May, June, I don't know. You've had amazing success with it all along. But there was one yep. month in particular that you and Jill like knocked it out of the park. And Jen Audette did too. Do you remember? Um, I want to say Jen had 17 recruits. Jill had 14. And I think I had seven. Yeah. Seven parties amazing. flipped. So out of all those people that have flipped, I mean, I have 
eight, eight certified consultants already towards annual mentor right now in month two. Are we in month two of that? Yeah, eight of them. And that's crazy numbers on an annual sales track, right? I mean, uh, annual mentor track, because you have what till May next month or April next April year? Through the end of April, yeah. Yeah, so that's crazy numbers. My mentality has now flipped. I don't care about the sales. If somebody comes to purchase for me, it's an insult at this point. The get people will always buy from me. I'm not worried about that. Is how can I get you to host and how can I get you to flip? Every host is a flip for me. This game is not anything about sales anymore. If we're selling out of it doesn't matter. You know why? There's something else to pick. It, it, the product, it doesn't matter. The more time and energy you spend on something being absent or something being different is 15 minutes that you wasted on you could be finding a host that you could flip to join your team later. Honestly. Look, I booked, I booked a party for Melissa Gratz today with one of her clients. When I go up to her in Michigan, the craft fair, she had a question about a diffuser. I called Melissa. I said, Melissa, I booked you a Zoom party. We're doing a Zoom party for your customer in Las Vegas now. I mean, everything's a party. I am booking parties for people that aren't even mine. Let's it's talk a, to some of my customers tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> if, if you spare switch time. that mindset, it really is a fun game with yourself. I know. Because it's, you're, you're maximizing every opportunity. I'm yeah. not in this business to be complacent and be in a, in, a, in a rowboat with one oar going in a circle. No, I want my goals and reach and I want to maximize this as fast as I can. And people are doing it. I had um, Alyssa Hancock went from certified consultant to director in 30 days and she now has a team of 34 people. Yep. So it's, it can be done. Everybody has the same opportunity. It's just what do you choose to do with your time? I, I had a question. Yes. Okay. I have a party Saturday and none of them have Facebook or any kind of social media and they're all in Ohio and I'm in Georgia. Do you, do you <laughs> so have Zoom? Doing that. Do you have Zoom? Yes, ma'am. We're going to do a Zoom. That's what I do. Yep. I would do Zoom and um, just engage in that way. You could do a fun, if you wear red, you get three extra points or I mean, you can do whatever, like it doesn't matter. Yeah. It's just getting people to show up and really getting people to show up is through your hostess communicating with her. Like she's getting your people there, not you. Can I be a part of one of your parties, please? I want to see how you do all of this. I'm not even joking. <laughs> so it, on Facebook, there's a Heather's Quarantine Party Cell. We've already done one a long time ago. You can get added to that. Um, if you will search, let me see. I don't even know what it's called anymore. Let's see. I feel like I'm on it. Heather Gorsuch Training Quarantine Sensi Party. And if you just request to join that, we'll add you. And that way it's, um, that way you could at least see it. I can't find it. Maybe somebody can add me to it. Sarah, yeah, can you me, add Sarah me just to posted it? it in the links. Yeah, I just posted the link right there. So and we'll it. post it on the group page too. And that's yeah. if, you, if you guys can see it in the video. Yeah. And then um, there is one that is for SFR that goes into depth, everything that I talked about and with the, the Facebook links as well. Isn't she amazing, you guys? Oh my gosh, thank Absolutely. you. Absolutely, yes. <laughs> Love it. Oh. Now There's you so know why she got Shining Star, because she's awesome. Oh, yes, yes. Well, right. and she, honestly, the Shining Star, I mean, Heather, you know, you, well, I mean, you're gonna say, oh, I don't do it, whatever. You, you don't, you help everyone, you are, full of ideas, you share generously, you are the epitome of what a shining star looks like. Oh, thank you very much. You're getting better at that. Good job. It's so hard, <laughs> I don't like that. Um, she's the one that came up with Active in April, if y'all heard about that. She, yes. That's all Heather. Yes. Yeah, that was, that was pretty fun. That was amazing. Uh, anybody else have any questions? Or I mean, I only did 30 minutes. I hope that's long enough for y'all. No, that was fantastic. But if anybody has anything else, I can. I have one question for you because you oh. have trained me on this and I've tried a few. How do you get them not to just add people to that Facebook page? I've, I've so, struggled with that and I've told them don't only add if they do and then they do and it makes me frustrated. 
when so, I see 200 invited, I'm like, ah, you didn't listen. Right. So, so you can do it. Do? I mean, are you getting their wish list ahead of time to know what they want? No, probably. So not. I love to get their wish list first because either. I want to talk their language on what they're trying to earn. Okay. And so I'll say, I saw that you really want to earn that deluxe diffuser and this warmer and these bars. And my goal and job is to help you reach and get this free and half price. And the only way, the most important way I can tell you on the first step that will either make or break your party, it will either be success or fail is the inviting process. And I want you to have no more than 15 to 20 people. Think of them um, inviting them over um, like to your house, like for dinner. Think about who you know that loves Scentsy or could use some more Scentsy or just in your Fab Five circle or your family and friends people. Um, and those are the people I want you to reach out to and invite. And you can only add them if they say yes. And you can even not make her admin and you could just say, hey, yeah, if, they, if they're still doing it, you have to approve the messages and you can message the person and say, hey, thanks so much for coming to so-and-so Scentsy party live. Um, it's on this date, this way, or, or, or something, where you can get confirmation that they said yes, and then add them if you want. But I haven't had to go that far just yet. Okay, I was just curious. Yeah. Because a lot of people think, oh, the more I invite, the better. And I've been trying to teach them that. So I was just, it's, it's, I guess I got to drill it harder. And Yeah, and I, so. all, I tell them all that it is, um, it's about quanti quality, not quantity. Right. And that's what I tell them. Thank you. You're welcome. I have a question that's come up that um, I, I've had team members ask when you've done your party. What, um, I know you do 30 minute live and you're pretty firm on that 30 minutes. Yes. You literally just go through the products behind you, correct? Yes, it's a catalog walk behind me. Um, the numbers do represent an extra little goodie in an envelope that they will get from me from hosting at their party. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Does anyone else have questions? You have your presentation down so perfectly on this that I think you answer all the questions that would come in now. Oh, good. Well, that's easy then. Let's see, there's just a lot of, Heather, I seriously love you. And oh, all God. your things. So amazing. OMG, I love you. I love all of this. You are so amazing. Um, I've learned so much. Totally amazing. Thank you, Heather. Yes, thank you so much. Okay. Um, so if someone picks a number behind you, you just cover that again. Uh, it, it's just a book of party. It's what they get. It yep. is, but I lead it in with, um, I know most of you wanted to help Karen get an extra half price item on your Google form. Here's how you can do it. And you so are answering, answering that, that as she as she asked it actually. So oh, perfect. Yeah, perfect. So, yeah, and it's been booking a thirty minute party. Yeah. Oh, I can't thank you enough. Thank you. You're, You're so welcome. Awesome. You're the best. You're um, welcome anytime. Be on the lookout for uh, uh, Instacart delivery tomorrow for me. Oh no, you stop <laughs> it. Not necessary. Not necessary. <laughs> no, not necessary. But will be happening. So <laughs> thank you. Oh, you guys, y'all are welcome. Thank y'all for having me. Thank you. Thanks. Bye, bye y'all. All right, you guys. Um, I think we're we're gonna wrap it up, correct? Do we have anything else, Sarah? Do we have anything else, Eileen? Anyone? Oh, I think that was good. Isn't she amazing? She I is amazing. So much energy. I want to bottle it up and take uh, it. Up. Jaw exactly. Jackley. Love, yep. love, love the information. Yeah. yeah, she's fantastic. And and literally, I mean, she walks the walk and talks the talk. She is. Um, she doesn't share things that she does that that don't work. So, and I love the fact you can you can adjust it, and she'll share all the links. And in fact, I think I have them somewhere, but I'm gonna let her share them because she may have updated them. Um, she'll share them with me, and then I'll post them in unit. What unit are we in? Four. 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 They'll all go in unit four with this recording, and um, the link to her Facebook mock party and all of that. But um, you can adjust her sample packets to whatever your budget is. And um, because she doesn't do, um, she doesn't do um, testers, she, she does product, she's earning the PRV on what she's 
giving out as, as samples in her um, sample packets too. So it's win-win. So. So awesome. Awesome. Okay, you guys. Well, we will let you go. We will have a, ch I don't even remember, I'll be honest, full disclosure, what, oh, she just is sending them to me right now. Um, That's awesome she is. Yeah, she's fast. Um, I'm, I'm not surprised. Like she could send them to me at 4 a.m. because she's probably still awake. Uh, but <laughs> I legit can we, don't know can what we do a challenge this week? Yeah, I don't remember what it is, to be honest, but we do have a challenge, don't we? So yes, watch we, for that. We will. We do that. have a challenge this week. So watch for that. I know last week was a break since we were all busy, busy with SFR. So, but so it will go back. back. We are back in it, you guys. So I yeah. do. I do want to say something um, about. I know that SFR and things kind of. I mean, rightfully so. We wanted you guys to be a hundred percent present in SFR, um, but. I do, it's so important to have your accountability partners. So do not give that up because I know that there's been a lot of lack of accountability yep. um, on a lot of ends. And we're gonna really be, this, starting this week, we're really going to focus and, and there's, you've gotta participate in the challenges. You've gotta participate in the accountability. You've gotta be working on your habit. It. You have to be working on your habit tracker. Um, so really, really hone in. This is the week to really get on it because um, this is a privilege. Remember, we only had 25 people per superstar director to invite and we chose you guys. So sh show us that you guys have it in you and please be accountable to your accountability partners. Yeah, I ha my accountability partner hasn't gotten with me this week at all. Okay, well, and again, SFR, and I think we should, and if you're, if you have, if they haven't, then reach out to the person that invited you to the program, and then we will, we'll, we'll work it through, but from here on, we really want you to be accountable. Sorry, Sarah. No, I was just going to say that, so good. I totally agree. Okay. Sounds good. All right, we will chat with you guys. Um, look for the challenge to be posted tomorrow, or tonight, or tomorrow. Uh, Next week, is the, next week is back to the regular time. Back to the regular time. This was a one-time only deal. So, all right. Have a good night, you guys. Okay, bye. bye everyone.